In today's video tutorial, we are going to look at how to download and install Microsoft Office 2024 for free. In order to install Microsoft Office 2024 on your PC, the first step is to come to the control panel, click uninstall a program, and then check and see if you have any previous version of Office that is installed on your computer. We need to first uninstall any previous versions. For example, you can see I have Microsoft Office 2021. So in case you do not have any previous version of Office that is installed on your computer, then you can continue to state number two. But if you have any previous version like this one, Office 2021, make sure you first uninstall that and then you can continue. So I'm going to uninstall this and then we can continue to the next step. Click here and uninstall that, then uninstall our program. When you finish, or when you are done uninstalling like this, they can, they are saying we have successfully removed Office from your computer. So I'm going to close that. So that is step number one. So I no longer have any previous version of Office that is installed on my computer. Step number two, go to your desktop, right click on the desktop, go to new and click folder. Create a new folder on your desktop and call it 2024. When you finish step number two, then go to step number three. Go to your Google Chrome or any web browser that you are using. So I'm going to click on Google Chrome. Open Google Chrome. Then go to your Google and type in config office and then hit enter. Then I'm going to go and look for Microsoft 365 Apps Admin Center or config.office.com. Click on that link and then you should see something like this. Scroll down and look for create a new configuration. So I'm going to click on create. When you finish creating, then we are going to first create the configuration file. So they are saying which architecture do you deploy or do you want to deploy. So you can either choose 32-bit or 64-bit. In case you are not sure of the type of architecture you have, I will minimize this. Go back and right-click on your computer. Then you click on Properties. Then they are going to show you the type of architecture that you are using. So I'm currently using a 64-bit operating system. If your system is 32-bit operating system, then they are going to show you 32-bit operating system. Okay, then I'll come back and continue. So I'm going to click on 64-bit operating system. Then I'm going to scroll down. Then they're asking which products and apps do you want to deploy. I'm going to come and select Office 2024. Professional Plus. So you can see that we have 2024 Professional Plus and 2024 Standard. The difference is the Standard has only three applications. Basically, like it has Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, and Microsoft PowerPoint. Then the Professional Plus has almost all the Office package. So I'm going to click this one, Office Professional Plus 2024. Uh, please do not mind, you can select this, then as we move on, you can select what software you really want to use. So do not mind about that, just select Professional Plus 2024. Then the visual, we shall not select anything, we shall leave it like that, because uh, basically the visual is, if you want to use maybe uh, for diagramming, like drawing flowcharts and visual diagrams, you can just leave that unselected. Then the project, we shall not select that. Then additional products, we shall also not select that. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to scroll down. Then this one, we shall also leave it like that. Select the version, we shall select the latest version. Okay. I, I, uh, I advise you to click on the latest version. 
uh, then I'm going to scroll down, we go to apps. Now, under this section, please, you can choose the apps that you want to download and install. In case you do not, in case you do not want to download any app or in case you don't want to use any app, you can tick off. So for instance, I'm going to turn off the apps that I do not want to use. So I'll turn off that one. I turn off OneNote. I'll turn off OneDrive. I'll turn off Outlook. I'll turn off Publisher. Okay. Maybe I can leave Publisher on. Okay. So this, this is personal. It depends on what you want to use. So please feel free to select the apps that you really want to use. When you are done, scroll down and click Next. Then when you come to the languages, they're saying select the primary language, okay? So please go and look for the primary language that you want to use. So I'll be clicking English United States. Then if you have any additional languages that you want, maybe you have two languages that you want to use, you can come and select any additional language in case that, in case you need that, okay? So feel free to come. You can check full. If you want a full language, if you want partial, like they give you some parts of it, you can come and select that. So you tick whatever you want, full or partial. Then you come and look for the additional language that you want to use. So for instance, I will not tick any because I don't need any additional language. Okay. Then if you need proofing tools, like to check if you have any spellings, what, you can also come and select this. Okay. You can come select there, look for the language you want to use for proofing tools and choose that. So I'll also not select that. Then I'm going to come and select next. Then uh, under the installation options, we shall just leave everything as default, then click next. Then uh, updates and upgrade options. Okay, we can leave it like that. I think we shall also leave it like that. Uh, please leave this option on, everything on. This is going to assist you to avoid any errors in case you have maybe some previous versions of offices. You can leave this turned on so that it can assist you to remove the MSI versions. Okay. Then I'm going to click next. Uh, automatically accept license terms. So I can click that on. I would, uh, you can leave it off or on, but the advantage of leaving it on is in case you have multiple computers to install, I think it can save you from accepting all the terms and licenses. So you can also choose on or off depending on what you want. Then I'm going to scroll down. I'll leave it like that. Scroll down. Click next. Then also I'll go to next. Then I'm going to scroll and click finish. Now, when you are done with that step, you are going to come and click export so we have to export this configuration file now we are going to come we have three options to choose from so uh we have keep current settings we have office open excel formats xml formats then we have open documents formats so i'm going to click the second option and i, would, I think i would advise you to go with the second option because this one is going to save you from uh in case you have multiple office files is always going to be the best option to use on your computer. So open that, choose Office Open XML formats, then you can click OK. Uh, when you when you finish, you come to a configuration, click I accept. Now the file name. The file name we are going to type the file name. I'll erase that. Then I'm going to type in Winx like this. That's the file name I'm going to use. Uh, you can use the same file name, Winx, so if you can be on the same page. Uh, then you can click export if you have finished. I'm going to click export. Okay, then I'm going to export the configuration. So I'll click open, uh, then I'm going to bring up this one. Uh, then look for Winx. This is a configuration file that we just downloaded. So I'm going to right click this one, and then I'm going to come and copy you can choose to cut if you want then i'm going to go back to my desktop then open office 20 uh, sorry 2024 folder we created and i'm going to paste the configuration file uh when we are done with that uh, the next step is going to go we shall go back to google chrome then i'll create a new tab and i'm going to type in 
the office deployment tool okay so type in office deployment tool and click enter then you go to this link that has download office deployment tool i'm going to click on that one scroll down when we have one language i think english then i'm going to click download so when you are, when you download the office deployment tool we shall have this okay then i'll open uh then this is the office deployment tool in our downloads folder so what you're going to do is you're going to open the office deployment tool i will right click on that then i'm going to say open uh yes accept that then they're saying click here to accept the terms then click yes then press continue then uh this option you have to come and look for the folder that we created on our desktop okay you just come to this pc look for desktop then look for that folder that we created 2024 then click ok to select that folder when you finish the files are going to be extracted successfully then click ok then uh, when i'm done i'm going to close this then i'm going to minimize this so if i come back to this folder 2024 you can see this let me close and open so that we can run the same page the folder office 2024 so i'm going to open it then you can check and see that we have different files that now we have we have set up and we have the configuration okay now the next step you're going to do please just pay attention to this step uh just come and you see where i'm taking my cursor i'm putting a cursor on the name 2024 can you see that one around here okay so i'm just going to click in this empty space but along this line of 2024 so i'm going to click once if you click once you get something like this okay then it is already highlighted we need this location so i'm going to right click and i'm going to click copy we are copying the location for this configuration files when i finish that you can come and minimize this then i'm going to go to my windows click the windows button okay then type cmd cmd then you can run as administrator now when you finish this you're going to come here and you are going to type cd space control plus v you are going to press the control key on your keyboard then plus later v that is pasting okay so we are going to paste the location that we copied so the location the location is showing c users business desktop desktop which is the desktop the location then the folder is 2024 when you finish you're going to press enter so when you press when you press enter the next thing you're going to type set up dot exe space forward slash configure space then the name of the configuration file that we downloaded remember our configuration file is what we call winx if i go back here so we're going to look for the name of this configuration file which we call Bwinex, okay? So we shall copy there. So we are going to write the same name, Bwinex. Then we shall come here and write Bwinex like this. That is the name of the configuration file, dot XML. When you finish that, you're going to hit enter. So when you hit enter, Microsoft Office 2024 is going to start downloading and installing uh, in case you get any errors please you can let me know in the comment section i'll assist you uh, in case you have maybe some errors like check the path file make sure that at least you have uh, downloaded and installed all the windows updates because if you have pending windows updates sometimes you may not be able to install the microsoft office so the first thing you have to do is to make sure that you go and update your computer all those pending updates then you come back and repeat the same process okay so we are going to fast forward this installation process uh we are done now 
installing Microsoft Office 2024. So I'm going to close this. If you're done, I'll close this. I'll also come and exit this. I'll close that. Then I'm going to click on my Windows button like this. Then I'm going to type maybe any application that I installed like Word. Okay. You can say I have already now Word installed. Then I'm going to come and click open. Now you can see we are in Microsoft Word. They are saying good morning. So you can check through. We have home. We have new open. You can also go under account. So under account, you can say we have Microsoft Office Professional Plus 2024. Uh, please thank you for watching this video tutorial. In case you have any queries, you can reach out to me. I'll put the email, this, I'll put my email in the description section. You can always reach out to me. I'll always get back to you at least within 24 hours. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like the video for this channel. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you.